the Alberta NDP used a memorial service to give a stump speech in Hinton. This week in Hinton, the little town marked a sad anniversary. The town unveiled a plaque commemorating a rail crash that killed 23 people and injured 71 others when a CN freight train collided with a Via Rail passenger train February 8, 1986. This was Alberta's Lac Meg Antique. In fact, it was the deadliest rail crash in Canada until that Quebec tragedy happened in 2013. The crash itself was a disaster where stories of true heroism were made, like Ken Cuddle. He was 61 years old that day in February. He was a British Marine during World War II, so he was trained to act quickly. After the crash, he helped drag two people to safety and made a way out of the train car he was in for others before the train exploded in flames. The ceremony in Hinton should have been a time to honor heroes like Mr. Cuddle and the people who lost their lives that cold February day. But the NDP made sure it wasn't. They hijacked it like a bunch of shameless ghouls. West Yellowhead NDP Eric Rosendahl didn't attend, but he did send his constituency manager Kathleen Westergaard, and she turned this sad and somber day into a campaign speech for the NDP. She gave a speech that honored the NDP, not the dead or the heroic. She said, the rail system is safer today because people learned from the mistakes of the past. As Albertans, we have learned from the mistakes of our past too, and that's why economic diversification is an important policy for our government. Westergaard went on into full campaign mode, talking about how the NDP is working to create, and I quote, good mortgage paying jobs for the people of Alberta, end quote. Imagine you lost a child or a parent in that crash. Imagine you survived and lived with the trauma and survivor's guilt for three decades. Now imagine the sick feeling you'd have listening to Ms. Westergaard co-op that day to stump for Rachel Notley. The NDP just didn't ruin that day. The, they robbed the survivors and families and the community of whatever closure they could have gotten from that ceremony. The NDP stole that day for themselves. The left wouldn't be the left if they didn't stand on a grave to push an agenda. Every time gun violence happens, they shout for more gun control. A kid dies on a farm and the NDP use it to push a farm unionization law. They can't help themselves. It's a trait of the left. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreed.